Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be teaching you how to install Ubisoft Connect or Uplay on your Steam Deck, so let's get started. First order of business, select power, switch to desktop, so we get into desktop mode, so one sec. My first recommendation is that if you can use a key or a mouse for this process, it will make it a lot quicker and easier. So launch your preferred browser look up Ubisoft Connect. You open up the web page, download for PC, and you get an executable. Let's get it into downloads. This is for Windows. So now that we have the installer and we know it's on downloads, we go to Steam, library, in the bottom left corner, add a game, add a non-Steam game, Browse, go to Downloads, here you go, Ubisoft Connect Installer.exe, press on Open, once you have it there, add Selected Programs, and it'll show up here. So this is the Installer, we right-click on it, Properties, Compatibility, and we choose Proton Experimental, as the one I use each time. So now click on Play. And this will be the installer for Ubisoft Connect. So you're going to install the software now. Select I accept. Here, this is very important. Press on Browse and select a place where you remember that it's going to be. So the Z drive is going to be your internal SSD. Okay, so in the Z drive, which is again the SSD, go to Home, Deck. And in my case, I'm going to put it on Games. So inside games, it's going to install the Ubisoft Game Launcher. So remember this, this place, install. It's going to install it into your, into your games folder that I selected. Again, this is very important. It makes it easier to find it. But it says completed. We choose next. Now uncheck this box. Press on finish. And now you're basically almost there. Now add a game, again, non-Steam game, browse, go to your games folder that we install this in. In this case, it's home, deck, and inside games, we got Ubisoft Game Launcher. Scroll to the bottom where it says Ubisoft Game Launcher 64, or hang on, let me check if there is anything else. Sorry, ubisoftconnect.exe. Add that program. And now we have this one that is the actual Ubisoft Connect. So right click on it, properties, compatibility, and select Proton Experimental. Let's click on play. And now we'll take a few seconds and it'll show up. So we'll give it a few. <laughs> All right. So we got Ubisoft Connect over there. Um, well, while this is loading, my advice would be that Ubisoft Connect installer, hide it. So right click, manage, hide this game. So now you just need to log in. So I'm going to skip that part. One sec. All right, so I'm logged in. And as you can see, we have the same as in Windows. All the games are here. But now let's do some light customization. So first of all, on ubisoftconnect.exe. Let's call it just Ubisoft Connect. Let's make it easier on ourselves. And if you press here, you can add an image. So you customize the look of it. But again, we're into Ubisoft Connect now. You can close it from here. So now let's go into gaming mode. So one sec again. Now back into gaming mode. As you can see, Ubisoft Connect is here, but to find it, go into library, non-Steam, and it will be basically here. So if you want to change the artwork, you can do it in desktop mode by right-clicking on this. Or if you are like me and use Decky, which is this for custom plugins, there is one for Steam Grid DB. So inside of gaming mode, you can change the artwork. 
So we can put whatever we want. I'm going to put this one as a capsule, capsule, white capsule. So we look at it in a different menu. Well, let's go with this one. Hero is when you open it up, when you press play. It's like the banner image and the logo. And an icon in case you ever <laughs> going to have an icon. You need to restart your Steam Deck for that. All right. And there we go. We got Ubisoft Connect. We select play. And now it's going to do the same as before. It's going to get inside Ubisoft Connect. It might ask for your credentials again to log in once more. Or maybe every once in a while. I'm not entirely sure. It really depends. Let me hide the FPS scanner. <laughs> so initializing. And we're in. And if you don't like those notifications, I have a few things that I would change into settings. So top left, settings. Uh, enable in-game overlay, disable that. Sometimes helps on performance. Notifications, disable both. So no notifications. And now you can install whatever you want. So let's pretend I want to install Assassin's Creed Unity. We press on download. And we continue as normal. And as you can see, it will already default to our folder, games, Ubisoft Game Launcher, games. You could put it into deck slash games and then install it there. So we press and continue. We accept the everything that they ask us to do. Allocate the disk space. And if you go to downloads, there it is. It's downloading. And once it's done, you basically go to games. Go here and press on play. So yeah, that's basically how it goes. This is, again, uh, the Ubisoft Connect launcher. It's not individual games being launched from gaming mode. But in my opinion, it's not a big deal to have Ubisoft Connect running each time. I mean, each time you want to play one of those Ubisoft games, you gotta open Ubisoft Connect. There are more ways to add those games to here, for example, and it launches Ubisoft Connect automatically. But I don't know, I just feel that it's more comfortable, at least for me, to have it all in one place. So I just launched this, I can play whichever Ubisoft game I want. And if you want to try another Proton version for any specific game, you can change it over here. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Enjoy your Steam Deck on the YouTube video when I'm recording the screen with the capture card. But on the Steam Deck itself, it looks incredible. I mean, remember, this is the native resolution running at 30 frames per second with high settings.